This is our project, which, as oh, you know, is an electric car. Oh, shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> does, does Musk know about this? I, Musk uh, will know about this very <laughs> soon, yeah, yeah. He will know about this very soon. Oh, my God. Banks Built, protected by Amzor. With support from Roadster Shop and Nitto. Hey, Rich. Hey. Hey, you're Gail Banks. <laughs> Here's L.A. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm wonderful. Just admiring your work here. This is absolutely insane. Like, I have all your products in my truck. I have a Duramax. You ever heard of that company? Yeah, Duramax? Yeah. You ever heard of them? Yeah. Yeah, they make diesel stuff. I, and, uh, yeah, I got your Pedal Monster. I got your rear diff cover, all kinds of stuff. How do you like so, the Pedal Monster? I love it. The thrower, it's, it's insane. Like, yeah, it, it, I know. it feels like I gained, like, 50 horsepower. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, it's, it's great. Exactly, yeah. So. I don't know where to start with this. I don't know if you want to tell me. Is there much to talk about with this thing, or is it pretty yeah, there's simple? There's a lot to talk about. Yeah. What's I guess yeah. the first thing I notice is the the amazing craftsmanship on the engine and everything. Are they uh, built forged internals, or like how is it uh, engine wise? Internal? The engine is a stock L5P. L5P stock. Okay. With our, with our blower cam. Yep. Springs, valve springs. Okay. And push rods. Okay. Other than that, it's stock. Really. And we've been with this kind of configuration using a single turbo. Okay. A big mother. Yep. But a single. We've mm -hmm. been to a thousand and four horsepower. Okay. No special head gaskets, no o ringing, no head studs, mm -hmm. no main studs. Yep. So I have a question for you. Yeah. What made, typically, you see a diesel, it's turbo diesel. Indeed. What made you decide to go with the uh, supercharger? Sick versus and wrong. Turbo? Okay. I mean, this is what hot rodding is all about. Right. Try something different. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So here, the efficiency of the blower as a compressor right. is right with turbocharging now. You know, boost pressure is a big deal with diesel mm -hmm. because you have a sw swirl combustion process. Right. So if I can get that swirl RPM up, right. uh, that's beneficial. My goal is a thousand horsepower. Gotcha. So is that so, a, is this the first stage of this build? Or are you planning on going higher than this? Higher by our horsepower numbers. Oh yeah, really? Oh, it's, it's never enough. Yeah, it's never. Enough. It's it's never enough. Uh, we've been to a thousand and four with yeah. the, with the stock block setup. I remember that. Yep. So we're. I don't know where the limit is. Crankshaft rods, right. pistons, wrist pins, mm -hmm. all of that jive. Well, by your uh, killing a Duramax series, I still they're, they're significantly high. It, well, we got to a thousand and four, yep. and we didn't kill it. Right. So. We're not doing it stupidly. Right. If it needs more water, mm -hmm. uh, cooling, we, if it needs more pump flow rate, yep. we're doing all of the, that. So where a guy would normally just amp it up, amp it up, and something breaks. Right. We're, we're instrumenting everything. So we know where the limits are temp-wise, right. like oil temp. I gotcha, so you're carefully so, monitoring everything absolutely. before everything goes pop. And to Especially make a compressor efficiency right. and intercooler efficiency. I see. It's a liquid coupled intercooler. Well, well, what should the water flow rate be? Right. We can look at the heat rejection from the core to the water. Yeah. Right. And if the flow rate isn't adequate, mm -hmm. then, then we crank that up, yeah. you know? Right. Uh, so we, optimization is the key. And constant it, and monitoring too. Monitoring not, not only the normal values like oil pressure, water temperature, those things, but right. we did the super gauge as a data logging device. Right. And we sell it as the super gauge or the data monster. Mm -hmm. But the key is not the elemental values, the calculated values while you're driving, while you're on them real time. Right. We could talk about this thing for an hour. I don't even know where to start. But you know, I had two questions for you. All right. right? Number one. All right. What does what does Gail Banks drive on a daily basis? What do you drive to work? I always ask everyone that. Are you what? familiar with the Cadillac Blackwing? I sure am. They build about eight hundred of them. Yes. Yeah. My daughter has one. I have one. Really. And I love the thing. Really. No, I've screwed with it a bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not your blown small block Chevy, you know, right. LS or whatever. Right. DOHC, aluminum everything, mm -hmm. 4.2 liter, yeah. starting to sound German. Right. And two turbos, two charge air coolers. Mm -hmm. The 10 speed is a bit of magic. It's kind of a reward. 
Right. Because I was I was driving a Merc Marauder. Yeah. Which are also nice. Yeah. Cars are cool. And yeah. And and road raced the suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, QA1 helped me a bit with that. And then uh, a screw bar. Right. On that little. Uh, that's a DOHC engine as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. Those are yeah. really cool. And then my second question for you is, uh, what's your favorite thing about this truck? That's not related to the engine. Oh, hell. I'm not easy. It's the brakes and it's the wheel tire brake package. Yeah. They're, they're, so yeah. I, I've heard that these wheels were machined out of a brick of Absolutely. aluminum. That's amazing. Um, I have a project that I'd like you to see okay. in the spirit of hot rotting. And I'll where are you building this? So where, it's actually. Uh, where are you based out of? I'm based out of Massachusetts. Got it. Yeah, so we built yeah. things there and we built the special project and we actually trailed it all the way here to Vegas, about 3,000 miles or so. And it's actually in the booth one over from you. So if you'd like to see it, I'd, I'd like talk to see about it. it. Okay, awesome. Let's head over there. Let's do it. People don't understand what the spirit of hot rotting is. Exactly. Like you do it because you want to do it. If you don't understand that truck, right. I can't help you. You can't help you. So, yeah. <laughs> so this, this project that I have right here Oops. is the same exact thing of that. And we're going to see it Vibrant. right now. This is our project. This is a Tesla Model S, which as oh, you know, is an electric car. Oh, shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Tesla what Model S. And um, we uh, actually- does, does Musk know about this? I, Musk uh, will know about this very <laughs> soon, yeah. Yeah, he will know about this very soon. Oh my God. So uh, so yeah, we shoehorned- uh, This uh, freaking had to happen. I mean, had to happen. Yeah, it was, it was inevitable. Serious. Yeah. So yeah, we have yeah. A, a V8 out of a Camaro, it's an uh -huh. LS3. And we shoehorned oh, it in I here. Oh, I love the LS3. The LS3s are great. Yes. The LS3s are great. Yeah. So we have this in here. Uh, we built the transmission tunnel because you know the Tesla floors are flat. Mm -hmm. But this is a feat of engineering we were able to do because it's, you know, Teslas are great, but they're kind of boring, you know? Exceedingly so. Exceedingly boring, yes. This is our this project. This changes all of that. This changes all of that You've for sure. You've got all the, yes. the sound. Yes. Yeah. You have the look, the sound, the feel. Like you feel like you're in something special. You yeah. feel like when you start that truck up and you hear that blower whine. And Nothing like it. There's, I mean, it stops traffic. The noise signature through those air filters. Yeah. Sounds like a Formula One engine. Oh, I can only imagine. Honestly. I can only imagine. It just, and it's, it's, you know, it's the feedback. You want to feel like you're accomplishing something as opposed to going down the street in complete silence. There's no emotion behind that. There are tons of Teslas here. There's no crowd around them because they're nothing different. Exactly. They didn't separate themselves. It's like people like you that dare do something different. It makes all the world. Difference. Well, you're doing it too. Thank you very much. So, what that. are you doing for gearbox? So, it's the uh, stock uh, TR6060 in there. Yep. But I have a sequential shifter. Oh. So if you look on the inside, you'll Sweet. see right here. Oh on man, the inside. that's so, sharp looking. So we kept the interior as stock as possible. Yes. And then we have our, you know, our standalone system there. Mm -hmm. Everything works in the car. The Tesla screens still work. Both of them still work. And that's the shifter, the six-speed manual shifter oh, we have in the middle. God. Completely sequential. It's like a pro stock shifter. It really is in, in, boom, a, boom, in a luxury boom. looking car. Yeah, yeah. and the, the car's yeah. on air. So the wheels, if you notice, they're chrome. I'm not a big chrome person, mm -hmm. but the theme of the car in general is kind of paying homage to muscle cars. So these are the so welds. These are the lightweight welds that you'd see on yes. Camaros and uh, with bead locks on the uh, on, on a track. So we're yeah. able to do that. So right back here too, this is where you would normally charge the Tesla. That's the fuel filler now out of a boat. That's a marine <laughs> fuel filter. Way cool. Yeah, so you unscrew that, you fill it up, and it goes to the fuel cell right back yeah. here. We have uh, three fuel pumps. This is sexy looking. Thank you very much. Uh, just a, Thank you. We you plumbed you. it, all of it. Yeah, we have, yeah. we have a great team. We have a great team. So uh, yeah, we have that. On the other side here, that's the master cutoff. Everything we want to do is, when someone walks up to this car, we don't want anyone to know anything's different. So we put a hidden panel here, and that's the master cutoff switch for the battery. Oh, come on. That's love. So like the both ears flap it. out, you put gas in one side, yeah. battery kill in the other, and that's, this is all lit up. It makes it hard to steal. It makes it hard to yeah. steal, right. Yeah, but God. that's this is our, I just, I just wanted to show it to you because I mean, you've inspired me so So have you got a so shop much. back there? Yeah, we have a shop back in, uh, back in Mass, uh, back, sorry, back in New Hampshire. So uh, we build electric cars primarily. I'm a car enthusiast. The guys who work at the shop are car enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. We're like, why don't we, make something crazy the world's never seen. Stop. You, yeah. you said you build electric cars primarily? We build and, and service. And you did this? Yes. 
because at the end of the day, man, you got a hell of a range. Yes. <laughs> people, people typically, people, I mean, they good typically, God. they typically get pretty upset because it's usually gas guys yeah. and electric guys. Yes, exactly. But, Real polarized. But our, but our day yeah. jobs are to fix electric vehicles, but our core. We're enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. We love V8s. We love this. We love turbochargers. We love. You just you know, need a flat crank now. A flat, flat, plain crank. Yeah, yeah it'll yeah. sound amazing. So oh. for this, we have our, our our lead fabricator Joshua here. He's used to work. He used to work for NASCAR. All of the tubing that we got from Vibrant is all four-inch oval tubing from the headers all the way back. Very NASCAR. So and it, so it, it yeah. even even the tips themselves kind of so pay he, homage to NASCAR too. And the exhaust tips are right here. Yeah, and you can They're glue it to the well. ground. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we didn't go with circular because that would take oh, up too no much way room. It works. Almost yeah. makes it nice and that's nice subtle and too. It's subtle. It's on both sides. Yeah. Dual exhaust on both sides. Mm -hmm. So we, I just want to share this with you. I know that you're a you love weird, crazy stuff. Absolutely. And this is the, one of the weirder, crazier things that you'll probably it see. It had to happen. It did. It was inevitable. Somebody inevitable. had to do it. So hear me out. In the next project. Uh, we're thinking of doing something diesel. Just throwing it out there. So hopefully at some point. Are you, are you toying with my emotions? Yeah, we're gonna. I mean, it, what, what the hell's going on? I know, here? I know. <laughs> it needs it needs to happen. So I, I have a built Duramax. Obviously, your parts will have your intercooler on it as well. And we were thinking of doing something crazier, but a diesel version of it. Yeah. So you know, hopefully we can talk about. We gotta hook up. Yeah, of course. This has to happen. Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, well I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna say, hey, Gail. <laughs> Hey, uh, I need a, I need a, I need a Dur baby Duramax or something. Or actually, you know what? Here's my other question for you. Before I know you got to go, but we need a, we want to put another diesel engine into another car that yes. didn't originally have a diesel. Can you think of a small, compact diesel engine that will make reasonable power, mm -hmm. but it's still small enough to fit in the engine bay of a smaller vehicle? Uh, I mean, we could fabricate anything. Yes. It has to fit. Okay. Yes, a three liter Viamotori V6. Okay. All right, is that yeah. the, the, typically a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's about a cylinder and a half shorter than a Duramax. Oh, really? So it's, it's smaller bore. They come in uh, Ram 1500s currently. Okay. Yeah. They come in Jeeps yep. uh, as well. That's, I'd suggest that mm -hmm. we can help you with that. That's what I like to hear. So awesome. we have engine management for it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to be in touch for sure. All we're right. going to be talking on the phone. Hopefully, we're here again next year with something with your engine in it, and we can that talk about it again. Be, uh, that yeah. would be. Maybe it's in your booth. I, I don't would know. Be, Maybe I would be flattered. Maybe it's in I'm your booth. You. you never know. That'd yeah, be, that'd be amazing. Thank you again, Gail. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Pleasure's mine. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.